Hey, how's it going? It's Lee Halliday, and in this video, we're going to be looking at this tweet from Sophie Albert. She was the former manager of the React.js team, and she said, that React component right under your context provider should probably use react.memo. So I wanted to take a look into what does this mean and basically what's the problem and how to solve it. I apologize in advance, I'm, I'm a little sick, so my, my throat's a little bit raspier than normal. All right, let's get going. It's a pretty short video. So I've got a create React app that's just spitting out the word context right now. And we are going to create a context. So we'll do this here. We'll call it my context. And it will be react.createContext. And we'll just start it off uh, like this. So context is a way to basically provide state by skipping levels in your React nested um, components. So instead of having to pass state prop to prop to prop to prop, you can sort of jump a bunch of levels and use the state deeply nested wherever you need it. And we'll start this off by, in here, we will create some data. So why don't we work with a theme, set theme, and that will be react.useState and we'll start it off as a light theme. Next, we'll have a variable called next theme, which is basically if it's currently light, it'll be dark. Otherwise, it will be light again, like that. So the way theme works is you need to provide it, you need to create a provider, and everything else, the rest of your app will be nested within this provider. That allows it to sort of reach up and grab things from the context. So instead of these divs here, we will use the context and use the context provider to have everything else nested within it. So we'll just have the word nested here. We're gonna put components inside of here. And what you need to do is you need to provide a value to the provider. So we'll just create a variable called value and it will have the theme, the next theme, and we'll call, we'll create a function called toggle theme. And basically what this will do is um, it will update the theme to be the next theme. So when you call this function, it will call set theme and it will change the value to be the next theme like that. So we need to pass value as a prop. And now I'm gonna create two sort of nested child components. So the first one will be a function called direct child. So functional component. And what it will do is return a nav that has another component inside called deeper child. Like that. So deeper child doesn't exist yet, so let's just come down and create it. Um, I actually should put it above because otherwise uh, the reference because it's const needs to come before this one. So deeper child like this. Okay, so this will return um, a paragraph that has a button inside of it. And on click it will do something. So what I want to do is I want to let me actually see, maybe it won't give me an error. Let's try that. So what I want to do is console.log every time these are rendered so that we can see how often they're being rendered and what causes them to be rendered. So this will be direct child. So direct child, we're going to render right inside of our context provider. So just to go over this, we've got our context provider that is rendering inside as a child, the direct child. Direct child is then rendering deeper child. And deeper child is where we are going to sort of reach up to our context and grab the value from it. So we're going to grab the uh, next theme and the toggle theme function. And this comes from our context. So the way you grab context in React is you say react.useContext and you pass in this used context variable that we created way up here, my context. And now we can use these values. And notice we, we sort of skipped a level. We never passed them from 
this level to the direct child, direct child to the deeper child. In the deeper child, so this is like two or three levels deep, we basically reached up and we grabbed a value from the context. So we'll put this next theme here and on click, we will have it call toggle theme like this. So let's go take a look at the app right now. So as I click this, it's going from light to dark, light to dark, it's toggling back and forth. But what you can see is every time I change the value in my context, it's rendering both the direct child and the deeper child. So direct child deeper, direct child deeper. And the truth is that we don't really want direct child rendering because in React, typically a component should render when either the props that are being sent to it change or state that it owns changes. But as you can see here, it's not receiving any props and it has no state. So there's no reason to re-render this direct child. The only one we actually want to re-render is the deeper child. So this is happening because we are directly nesting child inside of this provider. And every time a value changes here, it's causing this direct child to be re-rendered when it doesn't. So this is where Sophie says, the React component right under your context should probably use React Memo. So what this means is that we can wrap react.memo around this. And react.memo receives um, a functional component and what it will do is it will only allow this component to be rendered if the props change or um, state directly within it can also trigger a re-render. But it will aim to stop this re-rendering when it's really not needed. So if I were to now toggle back and forth, you can see the direct child got rendered the first time. That's to be expected. But then the deeper child is the only one to be rendered from now on. So we've caused a lot of re-rendering from happening. You could probably ignore this unless it becomes a performance issue. There's also another way to solve this. So let's remove react.memo, go back. Another thing you can do is you can create a component called my provider like this and basically move all of this logic up into your my provider. So this is well, I'll just copy this whole thing up actually. Okay. So we need to make a couple changes. Here we want to return my provider instead. My provider. And inside of my provider, we're giving it a child. So we need to tell it it's going to receive children. And instead of rendering the direct child, we will render whatever children happens to be. So just to uh, go over what this change was, we removed, all, we removed all of the context provider into its own functional component. And it's being used rather than sort of all of this code directly inside of our app. And we're still rendering direct child inside of it, but now it's sort of being rendered via being passed as a child here. So doing that, we see direct child and deeper child rendered, but it's again not causing the direct child to be re-rendered. And that's because uh, the React code that controls um, only re-rendering when the props or state change is now working correctly by having it um, rendered as children. So that's what Sophie's talking about. Basically, there's two ways to solve the re-rendering issue when you're using your own context provider. The first way is to wrap the direct child in a react.memo call. The second way to do it is basically to, to, to pull this out into your own functional component and render a direct child by, its, by using the children prop um, instead of having it uh, directly embedded inside of your app. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.